Welcome back to TFB. This is Persian Immortal, and uh, we have a 1v1 today. And I have Alcrin. Hello. And I have Swift as well. Hello. Um, and uh, we're doing a 1v1, the Blitz map. And uh, we have this squiggly line guy. I don't know his name. Uh, it's Jeremy or something. Okay, um, well, as Persian said, we have Germany versus Italy. There has been some requests that people want to see a Germany versus Italy uh, replay of 1v1 with good players. Well, I never met this player again before, but he made some special tactics. Well, I never seen that tactics again, and I thought it will never work, but I was proven otherwise, you know. So, uh, yeah, maybe we should just start. 3, 2, 1. Okay, I got my trucks f out faster than he got. At this point, I decrypted him. I saw four depots start. And that was... Uh, that's when I laughed, you know, because I thought it's going to be an easy game. And it turned out it was pretty hard. So I, I went for airfield. I didn't start airfield at the very beginning because I wanted to be sure to that he won't rush me with tanks. But I miscalculated a bit, and I forgot on the tanks in barrack. So I'm already making plans how I'm gonna destroy one of the depots. So we'll, he will have the economy advantage. I started one, two depots and barracks for recon, and I'm I think I'm making stukas. Wow, it's pretty risky with the infantry base. And four depots. If he lasts a couple minutes, it'll be very, very profitable. Exactly, exactly. I always said this is a stupid tactic, but guess it isn't. Right now, he's making double the money. Yeah, and that's not very good. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, so. I guess I, went, I decided to go for Stukas, for Stukas to kill a depot. Mm, and you weren't worried about all the light units spreading across the map? Well, not really, because uh, I... Uh, I don't know. I didn't worry too much, because they couldn't snipe anything until they got past my barracks. Because he didn't have any. Yeah, exactly. I could easily pop mm. out a couple of armored recons. No, not to mention, you have to remember, German infantry is twice as good as all the other infantry in the game, excepting Japan's now, the Japanese faction. Theirs is even better. Well, actually, we checked the... Well, when, the it, when you're comparing light infantry... Yeah. yeah, but the light infantry from Italy is as good as German, if you check it with the tab. Is it? Oh, wow, it is. I didn't know that. <laughs> anyway, he started pumping out those uh, tanks, you know, and this wasn't good, because... Well, I suppose I could have done the, the secret position. But I, I thought this I was don't like to make bombs. good tactic. I thought that he um spread out his infantry, take a lot of choke points, you know, hold down the map in certain places. Yeah, it was. Well, at this point, I thought they are like. Are they like uh, <laughs> fake units or what? But I realized, nah, well, it's 10 bucks only per one, and he has twice as much money as me. Which made me a little scared, because I didn't kill any depot at this point. It still has four depots, and it's been like three and a half minutes. Oh, I, I'm sorry, the Italian infantry is actually even better against buildings. They have a heavy grenade, but Germans are good against tanks. I did not know that. Uh, well, you see, we always learn something new. Anyway, now he spread the tanks. Those light tanks. Actually, he was feeding me points, but the, the point of those tanks was to to keep the depots alive. Which I'm sure he could have done in a better way as well, but... It was annoying me a lot.
Maybe at this point. He's, he, yeah, they one shot everything. Almost everything, yeah. But they, they could have pushed from the light infantry on the left down as well and make me pressure even more, but I guess he couldn't think on multiple terms. Also, he, he was feeding me points. He, he lost like 75, I lost zero, but he has double the money, so. He's not in trouble right now by any means. He's just wasting points. Yeah, so for people who want to know, like, what he's doing is he's sending tanks and units all over the place, so Akron has to sort of defend his base and his economy rather than taking out his strong economy, the Italian strong economy, which he started with. You should have sniped those uh, tanks on the left side, but you didn't get close. Yeah, I was uh, busy on the right side. I didn't watch even the left. The thing was, I, I attacked those tanks on the right, and then he radio silenced. I wasn't look, looking anymore, and I looked on the left already, trying to think how many Stukas I need. I saw three, and then suddenly he's going to reappear on the right. And I'm going to have a big question mark on my head at this point. You forgot about those tanks? I'm no, I didn't forget, but I sent three Stukas there, as it could be seen, but he radio silenced and I wasn't watching anymore. I was sure I killed him, you know? Uh, I was focused on the left side already, and well, it turned out that wasn't the case. So he already has a prototype base, which is a pretty good thing for Italy. And I'm still struggling with those tanks. I did made one additional depot, which means the difference is a little smaller now. But the point difference is, is getting bigger and bigger, which is... Oh, you've lost your depot on the right, just about. It's gonna die. Is it, you think? Uh, yeah, it died. It but died, yes. So now, he's got four depots, and you still only have one. Oh no, you got two. No, I think not two, yeah. Now he's pumping out those Breda trucks, which are really annoying, especially for Stukas and their sl low, slow drive, dive. So. Now the AA is going to just completely shut down your airbase. Yeah, I got heavy infantry though. He's still on light because it's useless to upgrade as Italy in 1v1. I think you should have gone like artillery now, maybe. Oh, the artillery base would counter. Pretty, pretty low on cash at this point. Didn't have a lot of money, maybe 50, 60 at this point. Well, that's good that you made the depots. Though. You should have tried to get the. Uh, uh, what I would have done when you when that infantry died except that supply depot was captured it and hoped that his tanks would kill the supply depot <laughs> with the auto. Yeah, that's, I love doing. That. That's an option as well. Yeah. Let's see. Did he? Yeah, he camoed. So I know he has breather trucks though because I see it on the left. And what do I decide? I'm gonna decide something stupid, I guess. Another tip for new people is uh, Italy has a great prototype base if you want to invest in it. It's pretty worth it. It is indeed, yeah. So at this point, the economy is equal, but he got more money because he had it faster, so he's probably ahead for $150 or something. But the point is, I, I'm ahead 90 points, so it's it's fairly equal. And now I decide to kill those Bredas, but, well, he moved back, and I made a stupid decision not sending everything at, at one time. And I gave him points for free, you know? Yeah, like those stukas getting completely wow. Did you know yeah. that those were a... Yeah, I knew there were at least two Bredas, but I didn't thought it was six of them. That was a bit careless of me. Ouch. 
you know, Bradas are basically a FLAC 88 or FLAC 90mm uh, on, a, on a truck, and um, this means they have vehicle armor, but they still do massive damage towards air. Mm, exactly. Okay, so and he's got no anti-infantry on the left, so you have a very good chance to kill a depot or something. Exactly, so that's what I aimed for. The thing was, at this point, he was leading points and economy, you know. Well, econ not economy anymore, but at least in money. And the problem is, I don't know why I didn't do fake air assault at any point in this game. I just simply forgot about it, and I usually do it. Yeah, it's quite useful. Hopefully you can snipe this die. before the tanks. Yeah, but even if they come, I will kill it. There's a lot of infantry there. So now he's building those Caro P26s, the advanced heavy. 400 meter range. Decent gun. Pretty fast. Italy's first tank that can and take a Toby, beat. though, is asking me stupid questions on Steam. Congratulations. And I finally decided to make artillery to kill those Bredas. Because I, well, I lost all my planes except for two. I'm trying to take one more depot on the left. Well, this is a common mistake of players again. I destroy his economy on the left. First this depot, and I think this one might go down as well, if I recall correctly. But you're gonna see he's not gonna try and rebuild it. He's just gonna leave it destroyed, and that's bad. Yeah, but there's only $57. Why would he try to rebuild that? He invests 40, gets like $7 back. It's not worth it. Did you see he yeah, just got his tank surprise attack? He mustn't have been watching. Yeah. He moved him into the city. He was careless. That's true, the 57 is kind of not, well, 54, it's kind of not useful to rebuild. But 72, that's pretty okay, because you get almost twice. Okay, he's attacking me now. Well, now, this attack, if played by a better player, or let's say a slightly more skilled player, or a less forgetful player, we could say, would probably finish me off, but because as you can see, I have nothing. Actually, this is the first time I made an anti-tank base as Germany. Because I have nothing at all. There is, I have like one, two, sh three, four Stukas. I have a couple of Sturm Grenadiers in town. So the cho choke points are mine. But there is nothing else. He has no recon though. This is a careless mistake. I don't know what he was thinking, being from the gold league and playing so pretty good so far, but then he forgot the most basic thing of all. He did build a Saharina at the back, so Sahariana, so he uses recon. Yeah, he does, but I don't know why he didn't use it here. <laughs> I mean, at the most important part of the match, he forgot to use. It. <laughs> so. The game is still close, he probably has still slight money advantage. He has huge unit advantage.